It is now time for your main event. Welcome to the World Arm Wrestling League. We've got excitement. What a match. It will be thunder and lightning. This is epic. This is history. Richmond, Virginia. We're inside of the National tonight. It's the WAL and it's WAL 503. We welcome those of you watching all around the great states of United States, North America, and all around the world here on BR Live. WAL 503 is brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings, the official sports bar of the World Arm Wrestling League. What a night we've got in store for you here in our third event here in year number five in the heavyweight title match. The main event that will come up is our fifth match of the night. You will see Dave Easy Money Chafee against the reigning super heavyweight champion, the monster, Michael Todd. And some great matches in store. We welcome you alongside Max Tobin, Jason Zone Fishers down in the pit. My name is Ben Holden. So good to have you and all of you watching around the globe. It's great to have you with us here tonight. Max, 502 was great. 503, the buildup's been great. What are your thoughts as we're getting set to go here tonight, I mean, my friend? Ben, honestly, this card, every match could be match of the night. Every match could be five rounds. It's that stacked. It's that unpredictable. I really see a lot of these matches are going to come down to endurance, and it's going to be a really exciting night. All right, well, we will take a look now at the match card. Take us through these. Give us a thought on each one of these matches here. Uh, Bishop and Sailor Ayers, very even matchup. Both skilled, strong top rollers. Tom Holden, Giannis, Amalens, two of the best lightweights in the game, trying to reign supreme and see who climbs that ladder at a shot at the hammer. Valerie Beach and Nancy Locke are two of the baddest women in the lightweight class. I'm expecting a, a grinder there. And Krasimir Marcio, an international battle. Yeah. Brazil, Bulgaria, yep. two of the best heavyweights. A huge pedigree there, huge resume on both those guys. And of course, the main event, Chafee and Michael Todd for the hammer, for everything. And one of those men will be a three-time super heavyweight hammer holder, whoever wins that match here tonight. We're looking forward to the whole night. Before we go any further, those of you that may be new to the WAL and arm wrestling, let's get you up to speed on the rules of the game. The referee begins the match by centering the competitor's hands on the table. The hands must be level, close, and tightly set. If their grip slips, they will be placed in the strap. During the match, the arm wrestlers must keep their elbow on the pad at all times. To win the match, a competitor must touch his opponent's hand or wrist to the pad or break the plane of the pin line. Three fouls is a loss. So the rules of the game there, we get you up to speed on those. Pretty simple, pretty easy to understand, and it's a best of five. So trying to win three, trying to get through and, and win the super match here tonight. Let's take a look now, the tail of the tape, Max, between the men that will go in the first match of the night here. Justin Bishop, the Bama Bull, Mike Celieris, the chemist. Great match to set things off. Uh, the Bama Bull, you know, one of my good buddies from down in the south. And Mike Celieris up north, representing the northeast. And this is going to be a really intense matchup. These guys have only pulled once. And it was a grinder. It was really close. So now over three, five rounds. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens. It will indeed. And so Mike Salieris, who just finished his teaching days back in Connecticut. So he said his students' summer project is to watch their teacher arm wrestle. Watch their teacher win. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, and exactly. I know Bama Bulls got a lot of fans and family watching him back from Alabama. So this is a really good matchup to really set things off. All right, we look at some of the key categories, power, speed, press, counter moves, table IQ. 
What do you make of those and how important are they in this match? Well, you know the key for Bishop? Power and speed. Those first two right there. He's got both. He's got the tools to win. Mike Sayers, the last two. The counter. The table IQ. He's got the experience. He's a smart, methodical puller. He will find some way to get into this match. And Mike Salieris loves to play the mind games. Oh, yeah. They start a couple days in advance yeah. of tonight's match. Let's get to know Mike Salieris, the chemist, a little bit better as we go at home with him back in Connecticut. I'm a high school chemistry teacher. You know, you're affecting young kids' lives. It's powerful. I've got a, an arm wrestling club in the school, which I've done it almost since I started teaching. It's great. It's like kids get to see you for who you are outside of that classroom setting. I can't even count how many kids have told me, like, hey, Mr. Salieris, man, before I graduate, I'm going to beat you. I hear it every year. It still hasn't happened. I breathe, man. <laughs> and it's not going to. <laughs> arm wrestling is a very difficult sport to train for. I mean, you got to be innovative in arm wrestling. I mean, that arm wrestling machine doesn't really exist. You got to figure stuff out. You got to make things work for you. What I do to train for it is really work out my hand, get my hand as strong as possible. In one workout, I'll hit this for thousands of reps. This is a 20 pound sledgehammer head. I just sort off the arm on it and uh, just use it to train. I'm also working out the arm to stay really tight. And always working out the back, which is the strongest muscle in my upper body. It's just, I've always been a really intense character. You know, I'm always looking to crack that fear into the guy. I am gonna go ahead and attack every opportunity that I get on my opponent. And you know, I'm out for blood. I'm not a nice guy when I compete. Off the table, I'm a completely different person. Eliana, in a little bit, we're gonna arm wrestle, okay? The most awesome part of my life is my family. My beautiful wife, Deborah. Oh my God! My oldest daughter, Eliana. My son, Alexios. And my youngest daughter, Catalina. Catalina, see, I'm a winner. I'm a winner. Very tight family. It's the strength, it's my core, and it's, it's the joy of life. Yeah. Hooray! Bye. All right, the crowd's ready, you're ready, we're ready. Let's get down to our pit announcer, Ian Riccoboni. Our opening contest is a middleweight bout, scheduled best of five pulls. Introducing first, he's a man whose motto is, if you're not first, you're last. Standing at six feet tall, weighing at 193 pounds, pulling out of Alexander City, Alabama, the Bama Bull, Justin Bishop. And introducing his opponent. This arm wrestling star has been competing since the age of 16. He's a chemistry teacher from Hamden, Connecticut. Standing at five feet, 10 inches tall, he prescribes to the motto, see it, believe it, do it. Weighing in tonight at 198 pounds, the winner of the 2018 Middleweight Battle Royal, he's the chemist, Mike Silieris. What a great match to start things off here, Ben. It will be a great match indeed, no question about it. In comes the money, courtesy of our money girl tonight, Anna Harville. Cold hard cash on the table, and Justin Bishop telling us this morning, he said, look, how fast can I pin him as my kid? What your table. biggest takeaways from Celieris? Well, you know, they've only pulled Dang once, it. and no Mike is definitely a more methodical, strategical puller, while Justin is the Square more shoulders, aggressive, elbows explosive down. puller. So that's their keys Square right up. there. Can All right, get the angle. Mike, I get that webbing way closer. Speed you got to come aggression. to Justin's side right there. Mark Wood, our head referee, getting Close him set. Close your thumbs. Right here. Palm to palm, Mike. You're not fanning out. Palm to palm, right there. Do not cover the thumb knuckle. You're going over my knuckle. Close your hands. Watches. Both are covering. Start back to the top. Yeah, 30 Off seconds I can't. to get a grip or they go to the strap. Right here. Wants Close strap. your thumbs. Stay right here, He's Mike. Very watch technical. this right he can here, manipulate man. There no and side get, pressure. Get a better position. 
I think that's part of his strategy. Close Justin. your hands. Go. Yeah. Oh, Justin Stop. took his hand. He did. Wow. That's got to give the Bama Bull confidence. Okay, come right to the center. But now the strap could change everything, Ben. Right there. That match you referenced Higher that they low. had, the one match. Michael? The Bama Bull there said, hey, it was a short match. Yeah. <laughs> there wasn't much to it. Yeah, just don't move. And he's going up here in the middleweight. Put on weight to do that. And Justin knows what he needs to do right there. Keep Michael's to right there. He told me before the match, hey, if I get compromised in a bad position, I'm not going to let center. my arm burn out. I'm going to let it go and reset huh? up. Yeah. So he's got so the strategy right here. in place. Do not Let's mind. see what happens here. here. Round one, Mike. match Just one. Relax. Best of five. First to three wins it. First of five matches here tonight right from here. Richmond. Straight. Close your hands. Go! Yeah. Oh, Justin! Wow. wow! The Bama Bowl makes a huge statement. And a one nothing lead, and that Bear Bryant fedora that he's always worn he is a proud Alabama football fan and a proud native of that state, and he looked really good right Yo, there. Oh, yeah. Michael. He did his game plan, and he corner, told me, I know yourself. I need to take his hand, and what did he do? Took, Took his, his hand. hand and straight to the pad there. That looked relatively easy, but Justin didn't celebrate too much knowing that Mike has plenty of fight left. Oh, yeah. No question about it. So they go to their respective corners. 90 seconds between poles. Justin Bishop on top, one nothing here in our first of five matches Wait. here tonight. WAL 503 here from Richmond, Virginia. Mike, you have 58 seconds, and we'll switch sides. Mike at that already time. looking <laughs> to make adjustments yes. before his arm is even on the Seeing table. Seeing it, right? He's visualizing. Yeah. He's big on that, and yeah. I love that because I'm big on visualizing exactly what you want to happen and how you're going to do it. But the Bama Bull showing a lot of power early. You yes, guys are ready beforehand. We can go. And a right elbow injury for much of last season. Okay, we need to reset the clock. They switch sides. 30. Okay, here we go. To get a grip. Square your shoulders. If not, the strap comes on. Open up right here. And I'm looking, looking to see right Mike there. adjust his technique Close your here. He, he knows he needs stay to do right something here different. In the middle. He can't stay up top with Justin because Justin's hands, hands overwhelming nope. him. Offsetting. Got to see thumb knuckle. Both are high. Come down, Mike, right here. This is a very important round for Celliaris. Close your hands. Go! Oh. Stop. So two even, for two in terms of the there, strength. Yeah. Relax, no energy Neither guy here. wanted to hold on there, Ben. Yeah. They, they both knew what was going to happen. Neither wanted to waste any of their hand strength or energy there. All right, gentlemen. No energy. Let me get your webbings equal, palm to palm, so we get a nice, fair strap. Down low again, Michael. Same spot. Stay right here, Mike. Don't move. Great look Stay at right it now. there. Look at the eyes of yeah. Justin Bishop. That's focused. Love that. Bishop is very focused right now. And this would be a big win Picture. for him because, you yeah. know, he, he dominated the lightweight division or was in the, in, the, in the running for a hammer yep. year after year, one of the best in that class. Mm -hmm. Went up to the middleweight, which is a whole different level. And yep. he's looking to prove that he belongs here with this win. Finished second in 2015 okay. with the right. And in 2017 as well. Mentioned okay. Celieris, a chemistry right teacher, Justin Bishop, right there, a good, carpenter. Gentlemen. Close your hands. Go. Ooh, look at Bishop. Wow. Bishop looking to the crowd. Bishop wow. goes right through The Bama Bull is in the building. He is Ladies and big gentlemen. time in the building. He's Let kicked the door open. To the Bama Bull. Wow. Two nothing lead for the Bama Bull as they both go back to their corners. They'll have 90 seconds to regroup, and Celieris will need to regroup a little bit more than Bishop will, I suppose, now, Max. Well, Ben, he's in complete control. Look at that. Looking to the crowd. Yep. Knows he has his hand compromised. Knows he's in f exactly where he wants to be. And right now, Celieris is just being overwhelmed by his hand strength and back pressure. You asked Mike Celieris this morning, what do you do or what did you do in terms of training? I thought was interesting. I'd, I'd love to hear what he... You tell us what he what he told you. You have one minute. Well, he knew coming in versus Justin that he had to really work his hand and back pressure because those are two of Justin's strengths. And even though he knew that, Justin's using those exact weapons right now against <laughs> him. So he had his game plan right, but, you know, everything goes out the window when you're gripped up and strapped up on that table, Ben. Yeah. So Justin Bishop 
The pride hey, of Alexander Whoa. City, Alabama. Now yeah, they're starting to get hyped. Yeah, he's getting the crowd. He's doing, doing it now. His confidence, yeah, is, his confidence is beaming right now. Man. It is. Back to the table he, still with half a minute to go. I think he's looking to hey, put on a show Open right now. I think he's in full control. Right here in the middle. Got to go his Chance for Justin right Bishop there. to make Open a this. statement and win in the middleweight class here in this Supermatch Showdown right here, Series. Gentlemen. First Close of five hands. matches tonight. Nope. Offsetting again. Both are covering the high. No, offsetting. I couldn't see thumb knuckle either way. No movement. That was good. Close your thumbs. Gotta go, gotta go his way a little bit, Mike. Right. Gonna come down a little bit. Under five to hand. get a grip. Go. Strap. No matter anyway. That was They're expected. going to strap. Yeah. That was expected. Three for three in that department. Okay, Big open the hands. Here is the ball, Mike going to do anything different because no energy here, right gentlemen. now it's... It's not even close. Justin's yeah. dominating his hand, pulling him away from his body, full full dominance and control. What can he do at this point differently to, to get back into it? Well, he's got to make the match go in a completely different spot, whether that's setting a hook, whether that's putting in his shoulder early and trying to press down on Justin's arm and onto his bicep, or maybe that's leaning back in a king's move. <laughs> There's a couple <laughs> ways, way? but he needs to do something. Just way some well, more. sports, as I say, right the ultimate reality the TV, Close you never up. know. Here we go. Stay right Justin here. Bishop no trying pressure. to make it a clean Close sweep here in this first match of the night. Go! Oh, and Mike goes back, but it's but it's not enough. No. Look at Justin. Justin's got right where he Justin wants puts it. on the power. There it is. Wow. Justin clean Bishop. sweep. Too much horsepower. But the band will pull. Nice job, guys. Yeah, look at that look. The ball rides into town and rides out right. with right. a 3 nothing sweep, Max. Very impressive. Oh, yeah. And his family's in his corner. Yep. Wife Haley, two daughters. Yes. And he's bringing home a nice dinner. Let's look back here, Max, and some of the key moments of this match dominated by Justin Bishop. But it all started with the hand bend. Look at that. Yeah. Took control, bent Mike's fingers and wrists straight back from the center of the table. And from there, he added the side pressure for the big finish. Big time win for Justin Bishop. I, lo I love his motto. From the movie Talladega Nights, if you're not first, you're last. Tonight, he is first, and he's with Jason Zone Fisher. Justin Bishop, the Bama Bull. Man, you looked like you were in total control from the very beginning here tonight. What was your mindset coming into this match? Uh, stay calm, stay technical. Uh, I know Mike's real savvy in the setup. He's a smart arm wrestler. He's been around a long time. So my goal was to try to get him out of there as soon as I could. Yeah. Well, it seems like it worked. Now, your opponent is also known for trying to play some mind games and get in your head, make it real uncomfortable for you, you up here on the table. What did you do to avoid playing into those games and those traps? Oh, I just play them back. That's what I like. That's half the fun. You know, if we can't talk trash, you know, that's, that's, that's the stuff I like to do. You know, I love Mike. Mike's a great dude. But when we get on this table, I'm nobody's friend. Well, all right. Well, you made some friends here in the crowd, though. They seem to get on your side tonight as the match went on. Here we are halfway through the WAL season. What are your goals the rest of the way? I want that hammer. The way I see it, Mike was in third last year. He won the four-way. There's only two people in front of him. That's Storm and RBJ. Give me either one. Oh. All right, he's calling out names. It's going to be a great end of the season. The Bama Bowl, congratulations tonight, my man. All right, Ben, Max, back to you. Thanks so much, Jason, and thanks to the Bama Bowl stopping by as he is off and running. A clean sweep in our first match. Still to come, Tom Holland, Giannis Amelins, Valerie Beach, Nancy Locke, and an international match. Great flair to that one between Kostadinov and Barbosa. And our main event, Easy Money Dave Chafee. Two-time hammer holder, the reigning two-time hammer holder, the monster, Michael Todd. That's still to come here on BR Live here at WAL 503. Winning the WAL hammer. Michael comes with a shoulder at the win. I am your limit. Dave Chafee, what a return to form. What a return to action. Huge win. Monsters exist, they're real, and they live in the World Arm Wrestling League.
And we welcome you back here to the National in Richmond, Virginia. WAL 503, Justin Bishop took care of Mike Celieris in our first match. A clean sweep, 3-0 in favor of the Bama Bull. Justin Bishop getting the victory. Let's now get a little bit more from our head referee, Bart Wood. He's talking a little wall, speaking a little wall. Here he is. Hi, I'm Bart Wood, head referee of the World Arm Wrestling League. I'm going to go over how to speak WAL. Hook is a term you'll hear during a match. A hook is when the opponents twist their wrist straight down, and now all the pressure is arm to arm and out of the hand. During a match, you'll also hear the term top roll. Top roll is when the person wants to attack the hand and stay away from the arm. So they simply drive back into the fingertips, rotating out to the corner of the table. During that process, sometimes a slip occurs. Both opponents go out and they slip out. That's when we bring out the strap. Another term you'll hear during the match is the press. A press is simply when the opponent gets his shoulder behind his hand and he shoves straight down with as much pressure as he can. These are all terms and techniques that you're going to hear during a match. And that's how you speak WAL. And Bart Wood, the best in the business in the refereeing department, the Jedi, the machine. You know both these men well. You've competed against yeah. both of them. What's the book on this match? Oh, uh, man, these two guys are top cream of the crop. Like, honestly, both are top 10 lightweights in the world. No, no arguments about that. So I really i am curious to see who comes out on top. I don't want to play favorites, but Giannis with the experience and the pedigree and the resume, yeah. Tom with more of the talent, more of the physical tools, more of the top end power. Yes. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens in this one. See the particulars on these men. Tom Holland, a, he's not Spider-Man, contrary to what many may uh, think. Yes. He's a, a landscape gardener back in the UK, and Giannis Amelin's a physiotherapist. Basically, what that converts to in the United States is he's a physical therapist, helps people get their bodies, their backs back in shape. I got to point out the leverage. Huge advantage, Tom Holland, 6'3 oh, yeah. versus 5'10. For that sure. That could play a big factor. For sure. Now, Giannis Amelin's hasn't really been in too many matches in the last couple of years, and we had a chance to catch up with him earlier today, and here's what he said about having something to prove. You are, you are. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I have to prove something anymore. Uh, I, I have been in any, any place in the world and uh, I have won all major titles in arm wrestling. So mostly it's for myself. It's not to prove for someone else. All right, so the thoughts there from Giannis Amelins. And Max, we go to Instagram. What are the fans saying there? 61 to 39, the percentages in favor of Giannis. Well, Giannis has won multiple lightweight WL hammers. He's got the resume. He's got international world arm wrestling championship titles. But Tom is hungry and strong, real strong. I'm anticipating a war for this one. This should be real good. This one coming up, our second match of the night. Great to have those of you around the world watching us live on BR Live here tonight from the National in Richmond, Virginia. Without further ado, let's get to our pit announcer, Ian Riccoboni, for the intros in our next match. Ian. The following lightweight bout is scheduled for best of five pulls. Introducing first. Our first competitor was born into the sport of arm wrestling. With both parents as pros, the sport courses through his veins. Standing at a towering six feet, three inches tall, this landscaper weighs in tonight at 170 pounds from England. He is Tom the Machine Holland. Oh! And his opponent. This Latvian is a multi-hammer holder, a cornerstone of the lightweight division, capturing the prestigious lightweight titles in 2014, 15, and 17. Recognized around the globe as among the top lightweight competitors in the world, he stands at 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighs 169 pounds. He is the Jedi, Giannis Amoli. So the Jedi 
Sky makes his way in. 20 years he's been pulling and arm wrestling competitively around the world, as you touched on. Mentioned his break, so to speak. Tom Holland hasn't pulled a lot either, though, really, yeah. in the last few months. You know what? Tom's been dealing with an injury, uh, but he's coming in focused, and he's telling me he's feeling great. Giannis ah! took some time off. Giannis, a little bit of family, a little bit of life, but now Set he's back down down again and wants to reclaim his throne. So this one is, this one could be a lot of fireworks early. Look at this. Yes. Square up. Square up. Giannis Open Amlin's hand. a three-time hammer holder in his here. days in the WAL. And I got a note. They've never Close pulled each other yes. in competition. Stay right here. Yep. Do not cover the thumb knuckle. So we don't know what to expect, literally. We really don't. Straight, straight wrist. Sit back Close and enjoy it. Go. Oh, it's off early. Giannis with position. Giannis is holding him. Thomas feeling it out. Oh, oh, Giannis gets a little bit higher in his hand. Almost. Yeah. He gets the finish. He, he gets the finish. One nothing lead for Giannis Avalins. He got Tom out of position early there. He got Tom out of position early and capitalized in it. But in Tom's, if I'm in Tom's corner, I'm telling him, get to the strap. Get Close to the strap here, Max. Giannis took his hand, and Tom stayed in it. He didn't try to let go. He didn't try to, you know, do anything crazy, but. I think he's got to make an adjustment and get to the straps because it could be a different game for him there. Yeah. Certainly agree with you on that. Both men in their corners. Tom Holland has Justin Bishop in his corner. And uh, Giannis has got the Latvian crew behind him. <laughs> his buddies that he trains with, Coach Ray and yep. Vladislavs. And Giannis is getting fired up. Yeah. I remember the first time I saw him, my first year being a part of this back in 2015. And I said to Neil, who we were, at that time we were doing the shows together, I said, who is this guy? Just, a, he's a fascinating arm wrestler. I love watching him compete. Yeah, he's very cerebral, you know. He stays, he stays to his game, he stays to his skill set, and he dominates using it. About 30 seconds. But I think Tom's still in this match. One adjustment away seconds. from taking control of it, if he can get to his spot, which is the hook. He's a freakishly strong inside puller. He just needs the match to go there, Ben. That's exactly what yep. he needs. We saw Tom Holland in, in Atlanta and at 4.06 last year. He went against Jamie Sheldon and Jeff Hale. That was in the uh, Battle Royale yeah. format. You were in that, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, I might have been participating in it. <laughs> anyway. Hey, gentlemen, to the table. And Tom hooked everyone there, including yeah. Jeff Hale. Side. He was pinning any, everyone. So if this goes hey, to hey, a hook, it's Tom's world. Down. And he just needs to do something, anything, to get it there. Square up, Tom. 1-0 lead for Giannis right Samlins. Right Here we go. And it's in the second pole Long of this way. best of five. Hey, you got to bring this down so I can get you to the middle. I think Justin Bishop gave Tom some good advice Listen, in the corner. No, no pressure. Because no I'm pressure, seeing no a little pressure, bit of an adjustment right here from Tom Close in the yourself. setup. Stay which right was, here, he's Close looking at back nope. pressure more and be more up with Giannis right there so he doesn't uh -huh. lose his hand. Gotcha. I got one See on that? Giannis he doesn't want his hand and wrist to be compromised. Mr. Giannis. And he's got leverage. So if he keeps his hand, 30 seconds. We're going to he can dictate strap. the match. Yep. You heard Bart Wood there. 30 seconds have elapsed, so that means the strap okay. is applied, the palm, and this is going to help Holland. No this is going to help him because right he can set a hook using the strap, and if he sets that hook, Higher he low. can really take control of this match. Mention some of the credentials that Giannis has, and Tom Holland from a family of pro arm wrestlers, both his dad and his mother were both world champs. Started in 2007 at just 15 years old. Okay, I'm going to hold you, what, you here while I crank down. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just cranking. He's not, mm -hmm. nothing's going to start. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. No pressure in the middle. In the middle. We have a Bart foul Wood count. continues one to zero. get them adjusted. Giannis. Close your thumbs. Straight. Close your hands. Go. There it is. You the hook is set. The hook is set. And look at Holland. Look at Holland's confidence. I told you, Ben, look yes, at the confidence did. from Tom Holland. He does not believe he can be beat there. He does not believe his arm will go down there. And now he's bleeding him. Now he's waiting him, Ben. Yes. Now, now he goes quite. for it. No pin, but he's comfortable. And Giannis says, okay, let's play in there. Giannis is trying to come up with something, but he's deep. He's deep inside. 
Tom's got him right where he wants him. And Tom's, Tom's waiting him out. Tom could finish here, but he wants Giannis to burn his pronator and burn his hand out. Ooh, big hit, no pin. But look at Giannis with the best. Giannis with the best. Unbelievable. What a win. Unbelievable by Giannis. Two nothing oh, lead. Be, yeah, that's wow. how can you not respect that man? Oh. That is so that impressive. World what class right it there, was before it? the match was in the setup. It that's was in so the setup. It wasn't wow. during the match. You gotta say it was in the setup. If if it would if, after I said go, if I would have called an elbow foul, then he would have been on the runner and we would have had a rematch. It was in the setup. Okay. You're and I think Tom is saying, you know, well, what, what about that pin? It was yeah, yeah. a close moment there. Yep, it was real close. Yeah. He had a question. He's always smiling, fans. isn't he? Yeah. Here's a look back it at it, the Max. Setup. It wasn't after and now you just go, see so what Giannis did was he put his shoulder behind it, and then he pressed side and down using his tricep and his shoulder to secure <laughs> that pin. I love it. And we got nice ourselves a match now, folks. Yep. 90 seconds in between pulls. There's Giannis Amelins with his crew. Justin Bishop working the corner of Tom Holland. So what can Holland come back? Does he come back with the same thing? Just hope it works this time? What's he do? He needs a slight adjustment. Giannis is just a master of technical ability at the table, so... Tom had the power there. It looked like he had the position to finish, but was just Coming unable to do seconds. so. He just needs to change that angle so when he hits, he hits close enough to the pad to finish this time. That's, that's what he has to do. All right, so both men will be Get set here the for this third pull in this match. Giannis Amelin's already at the table. Holland comes back in. Giannis trying to make it a clean sweep for the second right. straight match, as Bishop it. did against Celieris in our first match of the night. Okay, open up. Square up to the table. I, I don't want to horse you around, but I got to get you right there. Okay, not in the middle yet. Close your thumbs. I'm going to bring you over. Right there. Yep, look. Come around. Come around. Come around, around right here. Close your hands. Nope. Offsetting both knuckles. Both knuckles. I got to see the knuckles. 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to the strap. Indeed. You said before this favors Holland, okay. the strap here. Yeah, and uh, you saw him, him get what he on wanted to he in the did. second round. He got down. the hook. He set right. the hook. But Giannis, give him some credit. Mm -hmm. he, his hand Tom backed up his, or his there. arm backed up his hand. There Just as strong, took Holland's hits, absorbed them, gained position, put the press in, finished. So, like I said, Tom's got to hit him to his side of the table and gain a better position to be able to finish him. Very good. Jen Wood helping out there. Strap okay. applied to the hands Down and wrists of Giannis Amelins and Tom Holland. Yeah, Giannis just presents so much intelligence and experience at that table. It, it, you know, it's hard to get around him Giannis, because he's got go the power to back side. it up as well. We come over a little bit. Hey, you might have to lower, Giannis you trying to go for the clean sweep over. here. So he's got to come to your, you got to go your way in the middle. I'm not loading with him. Got to go this way. No, no back. Close your thumbs. Supination. Right here, right here, turn it around. Close your hands. Go! Oh! Okay! Okay, it's deep! It's deep in the center! It is dead center! It is dead center right now, Ben. Giannis looking comfortable. Looks he like is. he stopped him there. He is. But he can't pull through him yet. Tom holding on. Just hold on with brute elbow strength. All joint there for Tom. He's refusing to quit. I love it. Yeah. But Giannis is gaining leverage and gaining position. Yes. And Giannis puts the shoulder in. Giannis presses him for the third round in victory. So two matches and both have been three nothing victories. First Justin Bishop. Now Giannis Amelin.
as he defeats the very gracious Tom Holland. Two great competitors in the first time these two men have ever competed, Max. A lot of mutual respect there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Tom was the slight underdog coming in just because of who Giannis is. And Giannis proved, hey, I've been, I've been in the be best top two or three lightweights in the world for 10 years, and I don't plan on leaving that spot. That's right. Here's a look back at the final moments from the pin. Textbook. Textbook shoulder press, textbook adjustments. I mean, you want to study technical arm wrestling, study Giannis Amalens. Good stuff. Gets the win. And the reaction as he takes it 3 0. And he's standing by down in the pit with our own Jason Zone Fisher. Jason. Giannis, you are one of the most experienced arm wrestlers in the world. You've won at every level, but it's been a long time since you were on a WAL stage. Be honest, were you a little nervous before this match tonight? <laughs> I, still, I still am. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you know, two years out of international arm wrestling, uh, I have more than 20 years experience, but still uh, it's put more pressure on me, so. Well, how do you feel about your return to the WAL stage? It couldn't have gone much better, a 3-0 win over Tom Holland tonight. Yeah, 3-0, what else you can, yeah. that's it, yeah. But, uh... <laughs> now, in that second round, it looked like Tom was pretty confident that he had you pinned. He had you in a difficult position, but you never gave up. I mean, really, what was going through your mind when he was shaking his head no, that he, he looked like he had you? Uh, I felt slow. I felt strong, but slow today. I was, uh, I think, losing every start, and, and Tom getting his position, but uh, I was prepared for this match. I know what he's doing, and uh, I know that he's... Uh, good in this position, so I have to find the way out of this. So at this point in your career, what else do you have to prove to yourself and to the world? Where is my hammer? I'm looking forward for my <laughs> fourth hammer. <laughs> I have three in a home, so <laughs> All right. I want another one. He wants number four. Well, congratulations. That was great. Is there anyone in particular you're gunning for? You've been studying tape. You've been looking at the WAL for a while. Is there anyone out there that you want to call out? Uh, same names we are hearing around all, all day. Uh, Jeff Hale, Sam Harris, Tony Kritowski. So uh, Jeff Hale, I, I have zero one against him, so I want at least make this uh, result better. Sam Harris, same. Well, Tony this Kitowski. lightweight division is exciting. There are so many great competitors, and you are in that group for sure. Congratulations on an amazing win here tonight. Thank you. Thank you, crowd. It's it's pleasure to be here. I'm enjoying very much, and thank you, my team here and my team in Latvia. Stay strong. Stay strong and love our wrestling. All right, amazing. Could have said it better myself. All right, guys, let's head to the table. Ben. Thank you, Jason. Sam Harris, I'm sure heard that. He's the reigning hammer holder in the lightweight division. Valerie Beach, Nancy Locke makes a return after a long hiatus away from the great sport of arm wrestling, and you get a look at her. Backstage, the native of Ottawa now lives in Petaluma, California. She'll take on Valerie Beach when we come back and a whole lot more as we roll on here on BR Live here in WAL 503. To have you with us here on BR Live tonight, we're at the National here in downtown Richmond, Virginia for WAL 503, two matches in the books. Three more to come, including our heavyweight title match between Dave Chafee and Michael Todd. WAL 503 is brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings, the official sports bar of the World Arm Wrestling League. Referees, we've talked about a couple of them, but let's pay homage to all three. There's Bart Wood, the best in the business. And with a nice walk-off reveal, his wife, Jen, works the table as well and then our good friend Frank Bean is our video referee here tonight in Richmond. Let's get backstage to Jason Fisher who's got a special and rather large guest standing by. That's right I'm back here with Michael Todd. Michael you got the hammer you, all right you look good with that hammer do you take that grocery shopping with you everywhere you go? Thing everywhere what are you talking about? Well you're putting it up on the line tonight against Dave Chafee, someone who you've had a lot of experience pulling against in the past. In your mind, what's going to be the difference in the match tonight? Man, I just got to stop the match. Dave Chafee is the guy that I feel is the biggest threat to, to taking my hammer. Uh, I've worked hard for this thing. I've trained hard. This thing's going back to Arkansas. 
Are there any specific strategy you have coming into tonight? You know, he's not watching right now, so this is just between us. Oh, absolutely. When they say go, don't get pinned. Okay. That's, That's the key to my victory. If I can stop the match, I'll win the match. Now, last year you were gunning for this hammer, trying to take it from Devin Lariat. Now that you have it, is it a different type of pressure to try to keep it when people are coming after you? Technically, I already had the hammer. I was a 17 super heavyweight. He was a 17 heavyweight. They did away with his class. He tried to come up the big boys, and I sent his ass home. All right. Well, you definitely put me in my place and set the record straight. That's good. Absolutely. Well, now, like I said, do you feel a different sort of pressure that people are coming after you? Oh, dude, I feel so much pressure right now. I'm going to be a nervous wreck until they call my name to come out here. Until that first ready go, I, I'm, I'm subject to walk out the door and go home. This thing is wrecking me. I just want to take my hammer and leave. <laughs> All right. Well, I have a feeling you are not going home. We'll see how you do tonight if you can keep the hammer in your possession. Good luck. I'll let you get focused as we get on with WAL 503. Thanks, Blake. All right, great stuff. Looks like he's ready to go work on the railroad with oh, that yeah. thing. Takes it everywhere. Said he goes grocery shop. What a beautiful, beautiful hammer that is. Gorgeous. I love it. I want it. I want one. Uh, yeah. I want one just to put in my man cave at home. That is a beautiful, beautiful trophy, I suppose, as they call here a hammer here in the WL. Max Taubin, you heard Jason Zone Fisher backstage. My name is Ben Holden. We've got two matches in here, and we've still got three to go. We'll We'll see the tail of the tape coming up in our next match here. We'll take a peek at that, and we'll walk through that in this next match. You will see Valerie Beach and Nancy Locke, who was away from the sport and is a multiple, multiple champion in both Canada and the world, away for 25 years, Max. That's a crazy storyline for Nancy, but Valerie's a multiple-time champion as yeah. well. She's won the World Arm Wrestling League. She has her own hammer. She does. She has her own resume. That's very impressive. So this match is a coin flip to me. It could go 50-50. I think it's going to be intense, and I think it's going to really rev up the night. Yeah, it'll be a fun one indeed to take in. And let's get down to our pit announcer. Without further ado, Ian Riccoboni. The following contest is a women's light weight bout match scheduled for best of five polls. Introducing first, this competitor credits the adversity in her life to drive all of her successes, including her WAL title wins in 2015 from both the left and right side of the table. She's a fitness model, but do not let her looks fool you. This five foot six, 124 pound competitor is dangerous in the pit. Ha! From New England, representing Boston, Massachusetts, she is Valerie Beach. Ah! And her opponent, she returned to the WAL pit at WAL 501 after a 25 year hiatus from arm wrestling. A former Canadian national champion at age 16, and a year later, winning the world championship at age 17, this five foot five, 125 pound Canadian star has her sights set on winning a prestigious WAL Hammer from Ottawa, Canada. She is Nancy Law. Oh yeah, this one's set to be exciting, Ben. Both of these women are intense. They love to get loud, they love to get hype, and I think this match is gonna be a burner. And if you saw Nancy's first one earlier in the season, that was a great, great matchup. Oh, uh, look at this. She is fired up. She told us this morning we met with her, she said, that's my ritual. LeBron James used to throw the chalk in the air. She just she pounds the pad. <laughs> Slaps that pad Let's silly. She's shoulders. ready to go. Look at Nancy. Elbow set. Earlier Palm the palm. Turn it just a little bit. You mentioned nice Valerie and Beach in 2015. Okay, she took first in both right and we left. Down a little During the Super Match Series showdown. Oh, but right hands. But Nancy competed more recently closer. in 501. And even though she okay, took a she loss, did. she said she's been motivated, training hard ever since. And she comes in here Close ready. Go! There it is, it's a hook! It's a dead center hook, but it's Valerie! Wow! Wow! Quick work by Beach! Must be the shoes! <laughs> That didn't take long, a one nothing lead. And she's telling Locke, it ain't gonna yeah. be no day at the beach, yeah. my friend. 
Made an early statement there, but I think she got the hit off the go and pulled Nancy right out of position. Take your minute. I think that Take was her minute. key to the victory, Ben. Ready. The initial hit by Valerie was just timed perfect. Nancy Locke in 93 rotate sides this time, had Nancy. to step away. You have, you have a whole minute, though. She had two broken ribs. The fifth and sixth ribs were broken. She said from vacuuming at home. She's had to come back from that. It was divorced, lost her father as we look back now at Valerie Beach in the pin. Well, Valerie just had more of her arm, more of her shoulder behind it. She's on top of Nancy's hand, and that's a superior leverage. And look at the reaction. Fired, Fired up. up would be an understatement, Ben. Shot out of a cannon, maybe. I told you these women get hype, and I love seconds, it. I'm a ladies. huge fan of women's arm yep. wrestling. Fan of it in general. Great to have you with us tonight here from Inside. Richmond, Virginia. Wherever you're watching around North America and the world, for that matter, on BR Live. one nothing lead for that woman, Valerie Beach. And neither are going for the top the rope, and it, it seems like they're perfectly straight fine wrist, making this a straight, hope match. Keep it straight right here. Close your hands. Go! They're back inside, Ben. But now Nancy's got the hit. Oh. Nancy with the recovery. Wow. Both quick. Yeah. And this is brewing. This is getting really turned up now. One to one. Yeah. First two matches, if you're just tuning in. Justin Bishop, Bishop won 3 nothing. And then Ladies in the a minute and 20. one we just had Get yourself prior to this one, time. a 3 nothing Giannis, win as well yeah. for Giannis Amelins. And now there's going to be no 3-0 no. walk through here. Nope. Look you at that. You guys don't want your time? A grinding hook war. Take and your Nancy time. just back pressures, opens up Valerie's bicep, stretches her out, and finishes with the side. Even at 1-1. And I think Nancy knows she slept on the first the first match. So now right there, she made it a huge effort to start quick. Got to her spot, was able to finish. And you know, I'm seeing ice seconds. just being put on Valerie's okay. bicep or on her forearm yeah. to make the blood not fill it up, not get too pumped. If you're too pumped, Ben, nah, you can't arm wrestle. And Nancy Locke, her husband yeah. Eric there, who is a three-time. Yeah, well, perfect. Tell me. Right-handed world champ, nine times left-handed. I think he said, yeah, just, just go and ready. Right, <laughs> just, just, just go. Pass the middle right. right. Just go. Yeah. And both pulls to bend that. And both bent over quickly. Mallory Beach there won the first. Nancy Locke on the right took the second. But I'm seeing an adjustment from Valerie technically. Okay. I'm seeing Valerie looking at top roll. Close your thumb. And Look at foot. that setup, Ben. She's yeah. looking to back. Close your hands. Pressure to go oh. up into Nancy's One hand. One foul, pulling off center, Valerie. And that's exactly the right strategy, I think. Yeah. I really do. Come up. We'll come down a little bit, Val, right there. Close your thumbs. Right there. Close your hands. Go. Elbow foul on Nancy. Keep Elbow pulling. Elbow foul on Nancy. Yeah. Running foul. Yeah. Yeah. Elbow foul on yep. the hit. Smart. Yep. One and one That's with experience. the foul. So each team or each Time. competitor with a foul, I should say. Okay. Now we're going to the strap, and I believe they each will have a foul. One foul each going into the strap. Yes, they will. And I just got a comment on this, Ben. We've never had a boring Could have female arm wrestling yeah. match in the WL. No, Every have. match no, is right. intense. Yeah. Every match is fireworks. Every yeah. match is back and forth. Hit. And it really sets the tone for the league and the excitement that it brings. First appearance this season for Valerie Beach. You touched on in Pittsburgh at 501 for Nancy Locke when she made her return, lost 3-1 to Victoria Carlson. After and Valerie being away Beach, for 25 years. Yeah, and Valerie Beach competed last year versus Yana Blind in yes. WL 404 yep. in a five-round war. In exactly a year Close hasn't thumb, competed arms. since. Right. Close your head. So Go. similar oh, to the last foul. match, we got a foul call though on Lock. Right really here, not knowing what to expect. Foul. And Lock wow. takes her down. But the second foul. Right yep. And now yeah, this right is up. dangerous for Nancy. She can't make another up. mistaken foul and give a round away. Let's set it back up. And what Valerie's trying to do is here. stay out of that hook. That's Nancy's sweet spot. Valerie's looking yeah. to top roll and pull her out of position. Two count. Okay, square up, grab the peg, get ready. 
Close so your two phone. fouls on lock, one right on here. beach, Come and a one-one straight this contest straight this. here to this point. Close your hands. Go. Back inside. Nancy oh. looking comfortable. Win. Powerful. Winner. Wow. In a flash. Still got a match here. Yeah. Two to yeah. one. Yeah. It was. That was domination. As soon as as soon as they Good set match, go, ladies. she cuffed her right into the hook and dragged her straight over. Big win. Now Nancy's in control. Let's look she at this is. replay, Ben. 90 seconds between poles. As you said, here's a look back. Yeah, she just looked at her. Yeah. Like, no way. Bam. Straight over. Dominant. Intensity. Love it. Late 80s, early 90s. Nancy Locke. They're now husband Eric was the face of women's arm wrestling, three world titles. Countless Canadian I, championships yeah, too. I, I don't have the new moon well, on. Yeah, but the first match I tried the new moon, it did not work. No, it didn't. Yeah. No. It's got the, it's got to be there, otherwise it doesn't work. But she's really not strong. Oh my God. When I held her, it's like, oh my God. Okay. Why did I lose this? Yeah, it was because hip movement. Yeah. So the talk in the corner of Nancy Locke with husband Eric, Valerie Beach. As we've done a couple times up here, take a towel to the forehead, wipe off the sweat. Oh, it's, uh, it's warm it's in warm. here. It's humid, it's warm. Love these great old okay, concert seconds, theaters ladies. that we've great turned match. into arm wrestling arenas here in the WAL and the Supermatch Showdown Series the last couple of years. Character and history. And yes, ma'am. And I think the heat is really radiating off this match from all the intensity these <laughs> girls are bringing. 2-1 lead for Nancy Locke. That woman, Valerie Beach, trying to stay alive here. And this best of five. Oh, I want to see a fifth round so bad. I would like that too. I'm sure those watching on BR Live around the world would as well. Open up, open up. I think Valerie's really looking to hit hard with that top roll. I see her set the your posting. Thumbs. Go Look this at the way, feet, little though. Bit right there. Nancy Close looking to hit hands. sideways. Go. Oh! Look at the look for Nancy. Yes, I see it. It's over. Yeah, Just yeah, takes yeah. her down. Wow. Nancy Locke. Nice job, Coming ladies. That tough loss of 501 proves she belongs here with this huge win over Valerie Beach. Evens her WAL record at one and one. All right, we're good. So Nancy Locke wins the match. A lot of mutual respect. 3 1, she takes it the best of five. Wow, yeah, I'm just looking at this replay watching Nancy just smile after that. No, it was too Knowing long. it's over. One to first one, that was it. And the two competitors. Yeah, great show of respect is always here in the WAL. And Jason Fisher's always in the zone. He's standing by with the winner, Nancy Locke. Jason. Nancy, you're having a lot of fun right now. Yep. You're posing. How you feeling after that big win? Well, I can arm wrestle again. You could go again. Yeah, yeah you right. want to? Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. I would get embarrassed, absolutely. You are good here. Now, what happened in that first round? It looked like you were I, a little surprised. Yeah, I woo, wake up. Uh, I, was, I was, in French, I was really not awake. I wasn't, whoa. I got, I got mad at myself, like, yeah. bad girl. Well, in some ways, did that help you refocus and you won 3-0 the rest yeah, of yeah, the round? Yeah, I just got pissed off. I was like, okay, I got to get pissed off. But, yeah. yeah. So what did you learn here tonight on the table that you, you will use for future matches? Wake up, <laughs> the first match. But, you know, I, I knew I was going to win, but the first time I was surprised. Then I said, okay, I got to wake up, but it's fun. So you said you knew you were going to win. You came in very confident. Yeah. Where does this confidence come from? Uh, in my family. <laughs> We're all like that. Yeah. But uh, you have to think positive. You can't think negative. That's the way I think. I have to think, okay, I'm going to win. I'm not going to say, oh, I'm not you. So. Well, it was an amazing show, and you clearly still have a lot of energy. How are you going to go celebrate this victory here I'm tonight? I'm going to eat pasta, steak, and a beer. Pasta, steak, and a beer. All right. Maybe a Buffalo Wild Wings. Yes. All right. Awesome. All right. Well, congratulations. Ben Max, back to you guys. He's a
He's a walking spokesman. I love it. Good work by Jason. Congrats to Nancy Locke. A 3-1 win. Still to come, Krasimir Kostadinov and Marcio Barbosa. And the main event, Dave Chafee. And the reigning two-time hammer holder, super heavyweight, the monster Michael Todd. That's all coming up when we come back here to the National in Richmond, Virginia, as Kostadinov backstage getting his mind right and ready to go as he'll take on Marcio Barbosa when we return right after this. Two non-arm wrestlers that I'd like to see arm wrestle. Oh, that's a tough one. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jean-Claude Van Damme, two big names that everybody recognizes. Sylvester Stallone and Arnold, just the classic matchup of the old school action stars I love. You know, Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant going at him, you know, when he, if he was alive. I'm a big Rock fan and a John Cena fan, so super cool to see those two. The Rock and Brian Shaw. The Rock, you know, he's in the movies, he looks huge. Brian Shaw, who's a strong man. The guy is, you know, as strong as they come, just overall body strength. Maybe the Bosa brothers from Ohio State. It'd be like a family grudge. Former World Strongest Man, Eddie Hall, and Shaquille O'Neal. I just think with his long arm and big hand and the crazy leverage, it could be an interesting match. Eddie Hall and the Mountain the Man himself go at her. Just two big brute strength, bone to bone, just to see see what the outcome would be. I think it would be Wonder Woman. I don't know her name, but I love that movie. I would like to see anybody running for public office arm wrestle each other, and that's how you determine who gets elected. In every country, in every state, everywhere. Arm wrestle. Good thoughts there from everybody. We're here at the well, National in downtown Richmond, Virginia. WAL 503, three matches complete. Two to come so far. And if you're just joining us here, we're just past the nine o'clock hour in the Eastern time zone here in the United States. Let's get you caught up. Max, take us through the highlights, the moving pictures from the first three matches. The Bama Bull set things off, showed his dominance and hand strength by beating Mike Salieras 3-0, running him over. Then in the next match, we had the Jedi, Giannis Amalins versus Tom Holland, and it went a couple different ways, but in the end, it went Giannis's way. Three pins straight, 3-0, Amalins. In the third match, you see Nancy Smell Locke the money. smelling the money, making sure <laughs> it's legit. It. And then she got fired up, and she went and got it, earned yeah. it. She did. 3-1 Decisive win. victory over yep. Valerie Beach. But look at that, the main event, the it's hammer, coming. the super heavyweights, the freaks. This is what everyone came here to see. Who's gonna walk out as the WAL Super Heavyweight World Champion? And whoever wins it will be a three-time Super Heavyweight Hammer holder. No one's ever held three. No one's ever held three. Not in the supers, no. Yeah, not in the right arm supers. In, in the five years of the WAL, so pretty uh, pretty intense matches coming oh, yeah. up here. And let's talk a little bit about the next one we've got. Oh, What's in front one. of us now coming up. We'll take a peek at some some numbers and some particulars in this one between the Dragon, Krasimir Kostadinov, and the Phenom, Marcio Barbosa. Well, don't let Krasimir's 0-1 record fool no, you. That's no, just in the no, WAL. No, no. He's been pulling 15 years, international, world level, world champ. He's pulled the best of the best, and he's beat the best of the best. But I could say the same thing for Marcio. Multiple-time world champion. He's beat John Brzezink, yeah. but so has Krasimir. Yes. So guess what? They're going to see who's the best heavyweight around this. Here's what I say. They're both very bad men. Here's the rating card, the power, the speed, the hit, the catch, the core strength. What do you make of all that? Well, honestly, I would put their powers about even. Okay. But Marcio has the speed and the hit. Yeah. He does have that as Big a huge hit. advantage. Krasimir more of a catcher, more of a defensive hooker, but make no mistake about it. Krasimir can attack as well. And um, I think Marcio is going to want to end this quickly. He doesn't want a lawn burner with, with Krasimir and his endurance. Well, his 2018 season was not very good. He told us that earlier. He's looking for a bounce back here in 2019, starting tonight. Oh, yeah. This is going to be well, a this, great match. Well, this is a very special moment for me because I didn't have a good season last year. So I was trying to make sure this year I'm ready for whatever the challenge is. And I prepare well. I spend more time. I put my effort. And I think I'm ready to win tonight. All right, so there's 
Marcio Barbosa, his thoughts. The fan poll, Max Tomlin, what do you make of this? Ooh, well, Marcio's the heavy favorite from the fans, but uh, this is a coin flip match, and I think both guys know that. Both guys have a lot of mutual respect. There's no bad blood in this match, but there will be intensity and aggression at that table, especially for Marcio. I'm looking to see an aggressive, fired-up Marcio in this match. All right, without further ado, let's get to our pit announcer, Ian Riccoboni. Ian. The following contest is a heavyweight bout. Scheduled best of five pulls. Introducing first, this Bulgarian beast is a multi-time European and world heavyweight champion. Tonight, he competes in the WAL as he says he's still chasing his dream and will not stop at any cost to get there. At five feet, 10 inches tall, and a hulking 224 pounds, he is Krasimir, the Dragon, Kostanov. Oh. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, man. And his opponent, a winner of the 2014 WAL Heavyweight Championship, this Brazilian iron worker is looking to retake his spot atop the heavyweight arm wrestling mountain. Tonight, he weighs in at 245 pounds. He is the phenom, Marcio Barbosa. So the introductions made of these two heavyweights that make their way to the pit best of five. Our fourth of five matches here on the night. The money's coming in, brought in tonight courtesy of our money girl, Anna Harville. Cold hard cash down on the table. Max Tommen and these two men will be out from their corners momentarily and step to the table. I'm a huge fan of both these guys. Yeah. I remember just first getting into the sport five, okay, six years ago, just to the table. seeing all the videos of them beating the best in the Set world. And uh, these are shoulders. two of the guys I really look up to a lot. And, uh, you know, I, I wish I wish I could hands, root please. for both of them, but I want to see who the better and stronger man is. Open yeah, hand. that's really what it comes down I'll to. Who's the stronger guy yeah. in this thing, right? Yeah, and there's a lot of mutual respect yeah. here, but uh, there's not going to be a mutual friendship no. because these guys want to win. There never dominate. is, right? There never is at no. that table. No, not at the Time table. Bit, One of the great things you're about this great sport. Close your thumbs. So here we go in the best of five. Barbosa Close your looking hands. for the hit. Right here. How's our time? Right. A little bit tighter. Close your thumbs. Right here. Do not move. Let go then. I'll call it. I'll, if he covers, I'll call it, and it's a foul. Close your hands. Go! Stop! One of the strap out of that one as they were both quick to hit and slip. Right here? We got one, we got, we got, I know, but we got one elbow foul coming into the strap. On the, on the hit. Even if it pushes. Marcio had a yeah. very aggressive hit there, yeah, but they did. say he fouled. Elbow foul on yeah. that hit. I just got to get webbing equal and do not waste any energy. Palm to palm, like this, boom. High or low? The rating scale we showed you. Showed you power, speed, you and some other things. His hit rated at 9.4 amongst fellow competitors and referees. Not too shabby. Well, that might be understating it. His, yeah. his hit is so aggressive, yeah. and uh, I've seen him pin the best in the world using it. That's a huge weapon, and uh, I was talking to Marcy earlier today, right and he, he knows how oh, important the up. start and right the hit there. is for him in this match versus this opponent. Like we've seen in the matches tonight, these two men, not a lot of familiarity with one another. Set your elbows. Just one time in 2017 in Open Poland up. they met. Yeah, and, and, and right Krasimir here, and won on fouls. There's no right. pin in Open the up. match. Equal. Two fouls to Marcio. Close your yep. But there Stay will right be some here, pins. Gentlemen. And let's see off who's going to get the first one right here. Ready? From the Close strap. Your hands. Foul. Two fouls. Ooh, Curling wow. in before the start. Carving in on the start. You're you not allowed to turn your wrist or cup your hand at that start. It has to be a flat hand. 
Wait even for the start. Go, gentlemen. I know you're and both Marcio needs up. to be careful Close your here. Thumb. Two fouls. Close your hands. Go. Marcio with the hit, but he's caught, and it's a hook war. Both guys, both guys are all in. It's deep inside Marcio. Crassie's pulling. They're both all in here. Marcio has a little bit of position. He's, look at him. He's on top of Krasimir's hand. Yeah. But can he get the shoulder in? Right now, Krasimir's got enough of his cup that he's preventing Marcio from putting his shoulder in. But look, he's inching towards it. He is. Trying to get more of a shoulder in his tricep involved. Oh! Wow. Krasimir wow. takes him. it back! Unbelievable. Wow. That was impressive, Max. Great round. Great match. Great war. But that was Casimir's strength, the catch and the endurance. He let Marcio burn in the hook, waited for his timing, made the move. Both men to their corners. 90 seconds between pulls. And I think Marcio did, did the right move from the start. He just wasn't able to make that secondary adjustment after the hit. Let's see the replay here, though, and uh, break down a little bit what happened. Krasimir was able to spread him, stretch him out. Look at that huge bicep. Look at that arm being just wide open. And then Krasimir laid on the side pressure to finish from there. I love the reaction of those watching in the yeah, crowd. Like, They're ooh. like, oh my goodness, I love this. Yeah. And that wasn't easy. Krasimir no. had to work for him. Marcio really made him have to really put in 100% there to pin him. So. Yep. I think with a little bit better position, Marcio's right back in this match. 14 years competing for the man known as the Dragon, Krasimir Kostadinov, 31 years young. And he's list. still got a lot of good arm wrestling years left. He does, Max. That's list. what's scary. Yeah, lists his profession as an athlete. Mar Marcio Barbosa, construction worker in New Jersey, and just what, outside of New York. And what you're seeing here from Krasimir, it's the old European technique. You slap the forearm around. That is the same thing as the ice. It's just going to keep the blood out of it from you getting too pumped up. Well, when you get too pumped up, Ben, you just can't close your hand all the way. You can't cup right. all the way. Right. Too much blood in your hand and forearm, it'll completely ruin your match. Yep. So they switch sides. Good look in. Good turnout here I at the National here in Richmond, Virginia. Second time in the... Now two years of the Square Supermatch up. Showdown series being here in the great state of Virginia. Last year, Norfolk. Open up, let me get the And to me, Ben, their arm power looks very, very similar. Krasimir's committing to that hook and side. Marcio's committing up top. Close your thumb. So if Marcio can get him a little out of position, he can make Close a huge hands. difference with his top roll here. Because Krasimir's committing to that hook. To yeah. to start. Both are doing no foul. Marcio, all right, Great. let's go. <laughs> you cannot be he wants to start <laughs> fast and end fast. Close your thumbs. Right here. Do not move. Close your hands. Go! Oh, and, and no! Marcio gets the hit, but Crassy pulls him right in. No strap. No. No strap needed. Now they're inside. Now they're hooked. But, but Marcio still has a little bit of a higher grip. Look at that. Can he adjust? Yes. Can he pull out of his hand? Or, or does he want to commit the shoulder? He doesn't know. He's posting. He's going back and forth between the shoulder and the posting top row. Oh, he's back to the post. Look at this. Now his shoulder's getting behind his arm. Well, that was close. It was that close. That was close. It's called. They gave it to him. It's called. They called it. That may need a video it may, replay. It may, you're right. And that's right down we below us. Go to the monitors. Frank Bean is our... I trust Frank Bean's yes, call. I, I do too, but if we need it, but it's right close. down below. It was very close. We'll get the benefit of What's seeing going? a look or two at it here momentarily. For now, the match stands even at 1-1. Yeah, let's take, take a look, a look back at the replay here, and see if we can yeah. see it. Here we go. Watch this move right here from Marcio. Crassy hits, stretches his own arm out. Yeah. And then Marcio comes in with the big shoulder. Bam. No, it was Oh, that's close. That's really close. <laughs> it's uh it's a very close call. I mean, I'm, 
I know Marshall thinks and he pinned him. Bart Wood has come over in the the area where the review monitor is they, down below us. I think they us. are going to take a second yeah. look. I think they may. I think they should. Don't you? It, it was very close in that replay yeah. to me. Yeah. You know, to give a non-biased opinion, it, it really could go either way on that call. It's that close. And if you're new to the WAL and our series here on Bleacher Report Live this year, that feature was added, if need be. And this could really stretch out this this match to four or five rounds. Well, it's going to be a guaranteed fours. Yep. That's the earliest it can end. Look they, at this they, replay they, again. Yeah, and they did not look back at this. The call standing. Right. Ooh. It's so close. Am I holding on starting this match? Or is it just I mean, let's be honest, Ben. If I'm a Krasimir fan, I'm saying no way that was a pin. I'm a right. Marcio fan, right. I'm saying he finished him. Absolutely did, yeah. You know, that's Should the way going? it goes in this game. Okay, gentlemen, to the table. So it stands. Call stands one to one. One, one. One, one. And we are getting into Ow! some, yeah, we're getting into some action now. Yeah, we are here with these now two great building. heavyweights. Now it's building. These guys want it, Ben. These guys want it. Kostadinov gets the crowd fired up. Marcio Barbosa will Let's go, get some chalk and he'll come back to his side. And, and I thought this was the most even Seven matchup of the night hands. as far yeah. as skill set, resume, strengths, weaknesses. Longevity, experience. Just on paper. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. was the match. Stay right yeah. here. Close your hands. Looking yep. good so far, Max. Ooh. It's 1-1. One, one. No, I've seen see, multiple see adjustments from both guys. Way. This is this Open is turning to a technical match. It really is. Both of them looking to make adjustments. Now Krasimir's going up top. Now Krasimir's top row. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall just look at that, the fear. The power look of the side. And he's fired up after that. Two one, he leads it. That was a smart, that was a smart adjustment. Hit, quickly re-gripped his fingers, hit again. That is textbook outside the strap, top roll arm wrestling. You don't get the pin on the initial hit, Ben. You regrip higher and you hit again through the fingers. And that's exactly what Marcio did there. Let's take a look. Perfectly executed by Barbosa. Bam, one hit. Couldn't finish, guess what he does? Regrip, bam, second hit. Yep. Yeah. On the money. He's Time a bad to man. <laughs> oh yeah, and that got him going. Yep. Barbosa there still in his corner. Kostadinov already at the table waiting. They got multiple ice packs from Barbosa's huge arms. Oh my goodness, those things are like legs. Yeah. And now I gotta mention, Barbosa does have a, a solid 20 I pounds. Was, you know what? We should work together more, because uh, I was thinking uh, that myself. What? Krasimir said he weighed 220? No, 220. Uh, Barbosa was 245 in close. Yes. So he's so around about 240. 240. Yeah. And that makes a difference, it doesn't does. it? It really does. And I asked Crass, yeah, I said, are you nervous about, you know, the 20 pound weight difference? Is it a factor? He said, no, he brushed it off. He said, at elite level, <laughs> it doesn't did. matter. Yep. But I will tell you, 20 pounds of especially one. power, 10 seconds. muscle, yes, it yeah. does matter, Ben. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I would try. I would try. But it's not over. No, it's could far this be from over. A, could this be the five-round match? Okay, here could we go, this be the one the that table. goes five? Last one the went distance. four in the women's division. First two in the men's side were clean right, sweeps. Don't do anything in this setup. And Krasimir is very smart. He's a very intelligent arm wrestler. Open your hands. He's going to make an adjustment here. Open, 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 open. Palm to palm. Palm to palm. I think Krasimir is going to want the strap. Okay. I think that's what he needs and wants, and I think he's going to yeah, make sure he gets out of Marcio's hand right and secures that strap. Right here. Look at because his, weapon. his hook Close and his power thumbs. just looked really great earlier in it. I believe the two map, the Going two the rounds strap. that Krasi lost, yeah. both without the strap in. I believe so. Okay. And the round they're getting it now. in the strap. Yep. And here it goes. Okay. Getting it now. Palm to palm, and that's no experience from Krasi. Don't any energy. You guys are in a war. Yes, they are. Referee Bart Wood. No question about it. Marcio knows he's close, like though. One more pin, and he closes the door and takes the victory. His whole family's here supporting him. And I know he wants to win this one really bad. Yep. Coming off a brutal last match versus Todd Hutchings. Yes. That he lost in five yes. rounds. Yes. But it was a very back and forth, very great Case matchup. Elbows down. 
Open your hands. Strap oh, applied here, here we Max. Go. Yes. Barbosa can Stay win. Right there. Or this Krasimir force. Close your thumbs. A fifth round. Stay here right here, gentlemen. Go. Close your hands. Go. That hit from Barbosa, but he comes back. Krasimir sets the wall. Barbosa thinks he's got him. Barbosa says no. Wow. They're in here. They are locked and loaded. Casimir's in the defensive. Marshall's more in his hand and wrist, but Kostadinov, I believe, has the endurance to stay in this match. As long as Barboza doesn't get his shoulder behind it, I believe Krasi may be able to wear him out here. Barboza trying to finish him off and win this best of five. He's so close. He He's is. one hard hit away. Yep. champion, the one who gets so hyped. You got out. it. And I got it. He, we he, all got it. He came through, and the family's up there. Oh, my goodness. Wife on stage, his three boys up there. Cash in hand. Let's look back, Max. Wow, great last round. It was a war. Marcio had the position, but Krasimir wouldn't let it go. But Marcio adjusted and surged for the big win. Indeed it was. Down to the pit. Jason Zone Fisher standing by. Gracious in defeat, Krasimir Kostadinov is his guest. Thanks, Ben. Krasimir, this is only your second match in the WAL, but you're a world-class arm wrestler known around the world. What was the biggest challenge here tonight facing Marcio Barboza? Oh, I don't know. He's tough opponent, and obviously my endurance was not good enough to match him. Well, you clearly have a heart of a champion. I mean, we know we've seen how much you've done all around the world and that you will be back. This crowd is behind you. You took the first match, and then what happened after that? Just my preparation was mostly with weights. And after the, fir the first match, I got pumped and was not so effective the next ones. Well, I know we'll see you again soon. There's a lot more fight left in you. Talk a little bit about your competitor, Marcio Barboza, and how difficult of an opponent he is. He's a very well-rounded competitor. He's able to pull hook, top row everywhere. And he was just better tonight, and that's all. Well, thank you for your time. We really appreciate it. The best of luck. And let's go over to our winner, Marcio Barboza. Marcio, congratulations. Now, I spoke to you earlier and you said you didn't have the WAL season that you wanted last year. What does this win mean for you here tonight? Well, first of all, I want to thank God and my Lord Jesus Christ. Without him, I wouldn't be here. I want to thank my family, my wife, my kids, always supporting me, win or lose. So I feel like a blessing, man. And yes, last, last season, I didn't prepare so well. This season I was training actually too much, <laughs> doing whatever I can because I, I, I hate losing. So, especially in front of my family. Well, Come on. And your family, as you said, they are there by your side, win or lose. I, they travel with you everywhere. What does it mean to have your wife and your boys here in your corner with you at all of these WAL matches? Well, it means the world to me. Uh, without them being here, I probably wouldn't, without my family, I wouldn't be the man I am today. So I thank God for them. I love them. That's amazing. That's amazing. All right. Well, finally, this was a huge win tonight. Who do you want next? What is next for Marcio Barboza? Well, I heard uh, there is an Italian champion that's coming to, to WAL. I'll be waiting for him. All right. Well, we'll be waiting to see you back up here on the table. Congratulations. Enjoy this. Congrats to the Barbosa family. Congratulations, guys. We got one match left tonight. All right, cool Thank down. You. Ben, Max, back to you guys. Thanks so much, Jason. And there is 
the victorious Marcio Barbosa with his family, his sons, his wife on stage. A great moment. He jumped up on top of the table, Max, showing all kinds of emotion, and why not? He should have in a great match. I was really happy for Marcio there, but look what we got coming up. The, the main, main event. event. The super heavyweight title match. Dave Chafee, Monster Michael Todd. You guys are about to see something crazy. This is gonna be intense, and both men backstage getting ready, getting their minds right. This Supermatch Showdown Series title match for the Hammer comes up on BR Live right after this. in Richmond, Virginia, WAL 503. The main event is all that's left here on what's been a great night of arm wrestling here in the WAL so far. It'll be Dave Easy Money Chafee against the monster Michael Todd. Michael Todd, two straight years he's had the hammer. Dave Chafee, he's a two-time hammer winner in the super heavyweight. One of these men's gonna be the first to do it. Winning three in the I'm, super heavyweights. I'm a little off camera here. Ben, a little bit. It happens. It's live TV. Yeah. Things happen, you know? Hey, you guys are in for a treat. You're going to see action like you've never seen before in this heavyweight match. It's, Watch this one. It's going to be this. a lot of fun. And on the left there, that is our money girl tonight, Anna Harville. And our walkout girl on the right, that is Kelly. You she, can tell they've never arm wrestled Ben because look at that grip up. They're not even having their <laughs> actual thumbs looped around. They're I, just going finger on finger. I, I got to be honest, I'm surprised you're not out there helping them. Yeah, you're I, a pro. I can give them a hand. I can give them a hand or two. And then, and then Jason Fisher <laughs> getting Fisher. a lift there. Fisher is literally being yeah. lifted up from, by Juji Mufu. From Juji Mufu, an Instagram <laughs> sensation. All right, this is the first. Jason, it's all you. Yeah, thank you, guys. I've never done an interview like this. I'm just hanging out here with Juji Mufu. What's up, everybody? I got Juji Mufu here. Come on. Well, this is a bizarre one. Now, I throw me down. OK, great. <laughs> wow, I really do a little bit of everything here at the World Arm Wrestling League. Now, for those of you who don't recognize Juji Mufu, he's got millions of followers online. You may recognize him from his viral video, the chair split video. You do a little bit of everything, man. I mean, you're mm -hmm. acrobatic, you're a weightlifter. How would you even describe everything that you do? I, I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> I just say I do a lot of different stuff. You do. And uh, arm wrestling's recent for me, so I've been arm wrestling for about half a year now. I heard that. So what, of everything you've got a lot of skills, what were you most attracted to about the sport of arm wrestling? You know, honestly, yeah. coming from a background of enjoying bodybuilding, big arms, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big yeah. arms attracted me to arm wrestling. And just the power these athletes have is insane. Absolutely. Now, arm wrestling is obviously a very relatable sport. Everyone has tried it. But as you've really gotten into it and studied mm -hmm. it and trained with some of the best arm wrestlers in the world, what has surprised you the most about the techniques and the strategy that goes into this? I mean, just the size difference between diff different guys. Mm -hmm. And you'll lock up with someone that's 60, 70 pounds lighter than you, and you just can't move them. I don't understand it. It's crazy. It's just there's so much going on there. I, I love it. Well, you love it. You're a pretty strong guy. You're talented at everything you do. Do you think maybe we'll see you on a WAL stage or take your game to the pro level one day? I think so, yeah. OK, well, that was a little teaser. All right, nice. It will not be against me. I can guarantee that. <laughs> need, a, need more than six months. All right, all right. Well, maybe next season. We'll see. Keep training, my man. All right, congratulations. Hey, Ben, Max, the main event is about to go down. Let's do this. It is. Let's get it going. And I want to see him bench press, Jason, next time. Uh, WAL 503 is brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings, the official sports bar of the World Arm Wrestling League. And next time we're together, Max Tommen, we'll be in the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California, for 504. Those four men would frighten anybody, right? Wow. It, we just keep getting better and better as far as the matchups and the cards. I can't wait to this one. This is going to be an intense card. All wow. right. Let's bring it back to the National here in Richmond. We've got our main event, Easy Money Dave Chafee, the monster Michael Todd. The particulars on them there, that won't tell the whole story. But you have any thoughts on that page of uh, numbers and info there? Well, the... The crazy thing about it is Dave Chafee's only been pinned by two men, Travis Bajan and Monster yes. Michael Todd. Yep. So, and I believe Monster's only been pinned by a few guys, 
but only two of those pins have ever came from Dave Chafee. So they've pinned each other. They have gone back and forth. They are rivals. Yeah. This isn't a one-sided rivalry, yeah. Yeah. But, but if I did have to pick a recent side that it's been, Michael Todd, the last two years. Yeah. He beat him in 2017 in the WL Finals, and that was the last time they ever pulled. Just to be different, I'll take Chafee. I'll okay. go with him tonight. All so right. here are some particulars. What do you make of these? Do these make a lot of difference to you? Well, I'm seeing the hook from Dave Chafee being a 9-6, but really it's the power. Dave Chafee should be a 10 first power. Yeah. Michael Todd is going to be more of the endurance, the catch, and just his style is so difficult to pull against. But Dave Chafee has the tools to beat him, definitely. No, no question about it. So Michael Todd helps people retransform their bodies for his job. Dave yeah. Chafee is a maximum security guard, prison corrections officer in Erie, Pennsylvania. How about that? Let's take a closer look as we meet Dave Chafee at home. Dave Chafee, I'm 38 years old from Erie, Pennsylvania. I pull a super heavyweight class. My personality on the table is pretty much my personality in life. Yeah, this guy's the best thing that ever happened to me, so. I'm a quiet guy, I'm laid back unless you piss me off. Time to go to work. We're here at the Erie County Prison, uh, my place of employment. I started at the prison in 2009. So far, I've got about 15 to 20 more to go, so doing my life sentence eight hours at a time. Chafee Foxtrot. This is Foxtrot, this is where I work. It's the maximum security pod. Our job day to day is just to make sure everybody's safe here, uh, inmates and staff. Do a count and a key tour. Uh, make sure all the inmates are secure and anyone's escaped or anything like that. 73, all secure. But that's a tour and a count. F pod secure. We have three breaks a day and uh, on one of the breaks I do my workout. What I'm doing right here is for side pressure. Just set up like I'm getting ready to arm wrestle. And go like this. Doing straight side, taking, taking all the weight down like I'm pinning my opponent. The one for the hook, curling it in, trying to take your opponent's wrist and busting it like this. Same rope, different exercise. For a top roll, I'm taking my wrist, bending over like this way. I attribute my gym training to where I'm at today. <sighs> That's it. I don't bench press or squat. Everything I do, all geared towards arm wrestling. Arm wrestling is all short movements, so I stick to everything with short movements. It's just to strengthen the wrist, that's all. So as long as I can stay healthy, I can go another 10, 15 years, hopefully. Usually before every tournament, I'll go and get trigger point therapy. From he hits different trigger points, that releases the pressure in different in different parts of the tendons of the arm. Uh, it hurts like hell when I get it done, but it, it my arm feels great after a few days. You know, other sports like football, basketball, baseball. You're 40 years old. You're done. You're retired. It's over. I'm still coming into my prime. You know, I'm one of the best arm wrestlers in the world at 38 years old. So that's that's what keeps me going. The competition, the one on one. Boom. That's it. I win. Most times that's the way it goes with Dave Chafee. Great look at him at home. Let's get to our pit announcer now. It's Ian Riccoboni with the introductions of these two super heavyweights in our title match. It is now time for the bout we've all been waiting for. It is our main event. It is scheduled best of five pulls. It is a heavyweight title match and the winner will leave Richmond, Virginia with the prestigious W.A.L. Heavyweight Hammer! Introducing first, the challenger. He is one of the most dominant power arm wrestlers on the planet. This multi-time W.A.L. champion is a six foot two maximum security corrections officer. Pulling out of Erie, Pennsylvania. Weighing in tonight at a monstrous 280 pounds, he looks to leave the capital city with the heavyweight hammer in tow. He is Dave Easy Money Chafee. <laughs> and his opponent, he is one of the most decorated pullers in the history of arm wrestling. With 18 world championships and 34 national titles, this giant from Hot Springs, Arkansas has become a household name. Tonight, following his victory at WAL 406, he enters the national in Richmond, Virginia, standing six foot three inches tall, weighing 268 pounds. 
He is the reigning, defending, and undisputed WAL Hammer Holder. Putting it all on the line here tonight, he is Monster Michael Todd. I gotta be honest, I, I must confess, I feel like a monster. The monster's in the building, easy money's in the building, main event time is Anna Harville will bring the cash out and put that down on the table. And these two super heavyweights will do battle for that. And the hammer. What a way, what a way to end the night. What are the fans saying, Max, and do you agree? Yeah, yeah you do. 50 50, yeah, I do. Yeah. We'll give the edge to Michael Todd. He's yeah. got the hammer. Right. He took the win last time. But yep. man, this couldn't be closer. This really couldn't be closer. Buckle up, folks. This needs to win a You know ride. this is for the hammer. Square your shoulders. Let me line your weapon. Everything's on the line. Reputation, pride, the hammer, the money. Yep, right there. Totally and the super straight. heavyweight title. Close your yep. hands. Go. Oh. Right to the strap they go as they slip right away. And Michael Todd told us this morning, we had a chance to visit as we do every event with all the competitors he said this is the best i've felt on the table in my career that's pretty yeah. scary well he, uh, pun intended he, he also said <laughs> his his weight is a very strong okay, no athletic energy wasted here uh, number yep. but his weights in the gym 20 pounds stronger than they've ever been really? even when he weighed yep. 300 pounds yeah. he wasn't lifting as much it'll, on his circuit and his different right training there. regimens he told us he's five he and two right all time want, against guys. dave well, I tell but you, they were two years and six years ago, those matches. So they're out the window. Right. Doesn't matter. Unless you pulled someone last week, you're yes, not going to know what they're bringing to that table. Right. And uh, it's a little friendly to start. I don't think it's going to be so friendly moving I don't moving think it's going to end that way. Sure That'll oh. change real quick. <laughs> Watch this. Yeah, I don't think it'll end that way. And this first round is going to say a lot about where this match is going. That's how I can get it right now, gentlemen. Years ago, Chafee broke his arm. Many thought ah. he was... Done. Came okay. back and he has Square come up, back with a vengeance. Your wrist. Okay, right. Strap applied and just and about set to go, Max. And I'm not worried about Dave's power. I'm worried about here Dave's position. Dave's way a little he bit. He needs to maintain good position Center. here versus Close Michael Todd. Many Stay will right say here. he has a very Close unorthodox style. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Dave's working out. He's trying to get higher on the hand. He's climbing. He's using a textbook technique, yeah. similar to what Devin Lair did several years ago to beat Michael Todd. Climbing higher in the strap. But Michael's ready for it. Look at that. And the monster is climbing with him. Bart Wood watching that elbow. And I believe Dave let that go. Yeah, looked like he, it. He felt that he couldn't get the angle in the position that he wanted. He didn't want his arm to pump up and burn yeah. out. He'll live to fight another round with, yes. that, with that move. He will. one nothing lead for the monster, Michael Todd. And that's going to really put a lot of confidence in the monster. Yep. Let's take a look at the replay here. Now, let me break this down, Ben. Do Dave it. Chafee kept his hand, started to climb. But the problem was Michael Todd was completely ready for it, climbed with him, yeah. and did not let Dave get an adjustment and improve his hand positioning, and that was the key for that win. Yep. I walked past these two giants before the event started here tonight. I said, it looks like the left side of an offensive line, these two standing side by side. They're big boys, and yeah, yeah they can play rugby too. I'm sure they'd both be very good. Yeah, it's called the super heavyweight class for a for reason, reason ben. yep, exactly. These Todd's guys are holding about as much muscle as they can hold on their frames. Yep, Michael Todd back up and then went back to his corner. Dave Chafee there, and Mike Salieris in his corner. And 90 seconds between poles here in the Supermatch Showdown Series. WAL 503 with Max Tommen, Jason Zone Fisher, all of our great crew, our fearless leader, our producer, director, Warren Pick, and everyone involved in our production. We appreciate all they do. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast here so far tonight. We're in our main event. Michael Todd with a 1-0 lead. It's that time. man there. Time to get to the table, says Bart Wood. And Dave Smart taking his time here, making sure his hand Switch doesn't side, get too gentlemen. pumped up. He's got the power, Ben. We've said it over and over again. But he needs the technique and the angle. He needs the setup. He needs the Square hit up. into position and work from there. Close your thumbs. Stay right here. 
Close your hands. Go. Dave's holding on to him. He is. Strap time. And that, that strategy is so hard versus Michael Todd because of the angle of how he hits and rolls his wrist and hand outside on your fingers. Even if you're holding on, it's so hard to press down with that because of the amount of pressure and outside angle he's putting on your hand. All right, Michael. Fine. But now they're tied together. Yeah. We got it the old way. And I've said it before, in this game, the strap doesn't lie. No. The stronger man typically wins. Yep. Now, I didn't mean that the way that I'm going to win. I just meant it's not going to change the outcome. <laughs> Dave's a strong ass dude. This isn't a new Dave Chafee, is it? I mean. Smiling up there, having fun? Yeah, this is, uh, Just keeping relaxed? Yeah, is that, is that yeah, part I, think, of the... I think that's what it is. Yeah. He doesn't want to be too anxious, yeah. too tense. Yeah. He wants to stay loose. Yep. We've said it tonight. We say it every time we do one of these broadcasts. The respect. Like that. That new, the appreciation that the like competitors it. have for one another. Hey, when you're at that table, it doesn't matter. But when you're in? done, you're best of friends. Whether equal. Oh, yeah. Beauty of the sport. Straps on. Here we go, Max. Close your hands. Go! Dave looks a little better. A little bit better now. Dave's looking a little bit better. He's got to climb higher. He's got to get higher. He's so close. One more adjustment. No. No. He's close. He's so close. He's got to press down. Right there. Dave Chapey with the move of his life. Right there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh. Time comes back. Oh, no. He had him. The pin was not called. It wasn't. Frank Bean right there. Yeah, that was a much looser strap. I want to go back to the other shit. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> that's, that's wow. Cool. Yeah. Big difference. That is that tough. That is so tough. tough to see happen. Yes, it is. You know, huge respect, yeah. huge props to Dave Chapin. Yeah. 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 He yeah. knew he had to get higher. He got high enough. He did. He pressed. Your, your he started losing back. his wrist, but he had the position to be able to finish. And he was so close. Maybe an inch, maybe half an inch. He just couldn't get it. Let's look at this replay here. Lieris there helping him out. Let's look back. And Mike came back in and took his hand from just his ridiculous outside, just his outside pronation and, and back pressure. Yep. But technically there, you know, Dave did the right move. You know, that's how to beat the Kings move. That's how to beat Michael Todd. You got to get high enough, yeah. and then you got to press. That that literally is it. The problem is Mike didn't let him get. Let's listen in to Dave Chafee's corner. See what we hear. One hard punch. I need this, baby. Come here. I love you. <laughs> Nick Salieris there mentioned him a couple times in the corner, showing support. And the Monster's in full control of this match. He is leading 2 nothing, best of five. Chafee's got to come up with a victory here against the reigning champion, the undisputed champion. Last two times the hammer's been up in the super heavies. He's got it. And you know, Chafee, he got into a position, but he, he missed one key. Attribute. Turning Michael Todd palm up. He so would have finished him there. He would have finished yeah. him with the press yeah. if Michael Todd was palm up. Right. But he wasn't. Right. But he wasn't. Right. And if you don't have Michael Todd palm up, you're not going to be able yeah. to press through him. No. Of course, who could forget that match we had in Cleveland last year with he and Jerry Cataret? Well, you know, I'll take that back. Unless you're Jerry Cataret, <laughs> he will not press. I didn't press say it yet. for that. Oh, brother. You're not I, gonna I press just through Michael Todd. Like no that. one will forever be ingrained in my mind in this sport as long as I do this. Yeah, that's just that was epic, unbelievable. So Michael Todd trying to win it here in three. Can he do it? He's in full will control. Will he do it? It's at this point, it's, it's all over but the crime. And now go to the strap. Very close. Heard Bartwood very close. Close. Chafee getting a little more chalk, trying to find a way to dig as deep as he can to stay alive in this no super here. heavyweight championship bout with a hammer on the line. 
Yeah, we're going back the other way, right? Monster yeah. Michael Todd is one well, round well, away mind, from no. cementing okay. mm -hmm. hey, himself he as the reigning right super heavyweight yeah, champion and holding I mean, that hammer up once yeah. again. Yeah. And I don't think there's literally anything in this yeah, world I mean, he wants more than that. Yeah. I sensed that this morning. Yeah. I cleaned that. Yeah. <laughs> this guy wants to win more I mean, than anything. He'd rather win than, than breathe. Yeah. Pick a number. Go ahead and pick. Five. Seven. Two. All right. <laughs> huh? Man, it's a pleasure. Here we go. Round three. Back in the strap. Yep. You had me so fucking scared. Okay, here we go. A little friendly banter yes. back and forth. It's been a lot of that in yeah, this match. It's turned out a lot friendlier than uh, yeah. maybe some people hoped for and thought yeah. it would be. I'm with you on that. But, you know, these guys are rivals, and there's no black blood. There's just mutual respect. They're two of the best in the game today. Right. Well said by you. I got you slapped. Yeah, there's a lot. Do you want it that low? Oh, Can yeah. Dave find something? Just yeah. pull yeah. Him something in that second when you said pocket. that palm just he didn't get it open, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. If Dave can climb, then <laughs> position his hand on top yeah. and press. Go. That's going to be the key. Gotcha. But it's really hard to do that in round three. Close your thumb. Michael Todd yes. that round. The crowd's into this. Close they want to see something. Go. Michael Todd trying to make it a clean sweep and keep the hammer. Dave's working, but his hand's going, no. Oh, Michael Todd's taking his hand. Dave's on his side of the table, but all that blood is yeah. in Dave's fingers. You can just see it. You can see his, his hand's getting blood red. Yes, it is. And there it is. That's it as wow. the monster. 3-0 for Michael Todd. You, A clean oh, sweep man. as he takes down Dave Chafee. <laughs> and monster Michael Todd, his wife comes in. Three-time super heavyweight hammer holder, the first to do it in the five years of the WAL. Monster Michael Todd, he wanted it so bad, and he earned it. He took it. The replay here, Mike just got to a spot, kept his hand. There it Dave goes. Chafee out of position, couldn't yep. use his power. And now the monster's getting revved up after, after the win has finally set, started sinking in for him. It has. Down to the pit, Jason's own Fisher, gracious in defeat. Here's Dave Chafee standing by with Jason. Dave, it doesn't get much closer than that second round. It seemed like you almost had him pinned. What happened there? Uh, close. Uh, first match, I made a mistake. I gripped wrong. Got me. Second match, I changed it up. And I had him about in from the pad, but that's the thing. He's so hard to pin. I give Mike all the credit. He's a better man today. Congratulations, Mike. I can tell you guys have such a mutual respect for one another. Where does that come from? And talk about what a competitor Michael Todd is. It, uh, Michael, Michael Todd's a tremendous competitor. That comes from just traveling the world together, beating people up all over the country, the continent, Europe, everywhere together. It's been awesome. That's why, where our respect comes from. Absolutely. Now, obviously, tonight didn't go as you had hoped. However, it looked like you were having a lot of fun up here. You were smiling. How good did it feel to be back up here on a WAL table competing at the highest level? Super fun. I came in uh, knowing I'm going against a champ. I knew Mike was going to be hard to beat. Um, I came in with a good attitude. And like I said, he was a better man. Congratulations once again, Mike. Well, congrats to you, too. It's good to see you up here competing. And I know this isn't the end of the line for you. How is tonight and this defeat going to fuel you moving forward? Well, I'll just go back to the drawing board, get stronger, better, faster, smarter. I'll be back. Well, that's a scary thought. We can't wait to see that. Thanks again for your time. We really Thank appreciate you. it. Very gracious. And let's give it up one more time, everybody, for your winner, Michael Todd. Monster Michael Todd. Now, I spoke to you earlier. You were a little worried about this match. You said of all the competitors out there that Dave Chapey is the one that you were most concerned with. Absolutely. That, that guy's one of the strongest people in the world right now. And uh, I was more nervous about this match than any yet. Well, how does it feel to come away victorious, to retain your crown, and also to win 3-0? This start hammer means a lot. Yeah. <sighs> I'm going to tell you what. The last match I had, that guy was in my corner. I would much prefer him being in my corner than across the table from me. He's strong as hell. 
Man, uh, she has been with me by my side every step of the way. I couldn't do it without her. Uh, God, I can't tell you, man. It's just, it's just truly a blessing. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. God, all things are possible. It means a lot. You're clearly very emotional right now. What about this win and regaining the hammer means so much to you here tonight? It's a legacy, man. I mean, it's, he had won two hammers. I had won two hammers. Whoever was going to win tonight was going to be the first guy to have three open weight right-handed hammers, and I wanted that hammer. Well, you got that hammer. You keep that hammer. When people talk about Michael Todd in professional arm wrestling, what do you want them to say? How do you want to be recognized? How do you want to be remembered? I don't know, man. I mean, it's just arm wrestling, right? These guys are my friends or my family. I just want people to know that I love the sport. I'm never going to give up. I love these guys like my brothers, and we're here to stay. Well, a classy champion, your reigning super heavyweight champion. Let's bring him that hammer. Give it up for Monster Michael Todd. What a picture there, what a moment. You can just feel the emotion, the hard work, everything that has gone in to this becoming reality, Max Tommen. A third straight super heavyweight hammer wow. for Michael Todd. I mean, he's just, he's drained. You could just see it, you could feel it. There is so much on the line. So much I love about this sport. In that moment there, something special. What he described, I love what he said in the end. It's a brotherhood, it's a family, it's, you know, you love these guys off the table and everyone roots for everyone, you know? It's yeah. like, that's how close-knit yeah. our group is and that's why, I that's why I love most about the sport too is how you can be pulling a guy one second for all the money and all the titles and just be sipping a beer with right. him afterwards, right. just being best friends. rip his arm off and yeah. go out and have a beer, like yeah. you say. It's, yeah. it's pretty amazing. I don't think there's another sport like it in the no. world. No way. And uh, we had a, another good night here. We saw Michael Todd there in our our main event, he wins the hammer, the third super heavyweight hammer. Yep. As he said, it's a legacy. No one's done it in the five years of the WAL. That is quite a legacy. Setting a new standard. He is, certainly. And, and, and for guys to challenge that, oh, yeah. see if they can get it from him. When we see each other again in about a month, partner, we'll be out on the left coast out in California. Oh, yeah. Some, some thoughts from you before we say goodnight here from Richmond, looking ahead to some of the matches and some of the highlights you think we'll have there. Wow, uh, it's tough to, you know, it's tough to even pick out which match I want to see more, but of course, Devin Laird, Dave Chafee. There's already been some bad blood brewing, and yes, I said bad blood brewing between Devin and Dave. So I'm yeah. really excited to see that main event. And guess who's back? The Monster versus <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt Wildhorse Mask. And man, Good that's going to be an interesting matchup, yep. to say the least. It'll be fun. Michael Todd's the favorite, but don't count Matt Mask out. You never know. The beauty of sports, it's the ultimate reality TV. Tonight's broadcast has been brought to you by BR Live, Bleacher Report Live. We appreciate all they do to make our broadcast possible and help us broadcast them around the world. So that's going to do it here from the National here in Richmond, Virginia, the capital city of Virginia. Mike Salieris was here tonight. The Bama Bull, he was a winner 3-0. Tom Holland was here. Giannis Amelins, he was a winner as well. Valerie Beach was here. She went against Nancy Locke. Nancy Locke the win. Marcio Barbosa comes away a winner and then stands on the table. I love it. And then the monster, Michael Todd, retains the hammer. Thanks for watching. For all of our crew, Max Tom and Jason Zone Fitcher, my name is Ben Holden. Good night. Yes. <laughs>